Welcome back, folks. Uh, it's been a long time since I actually made a video, probably about a year now. Um, so I've been kind of busy and also very, very sick. Just to give you a heads up, today is April 20th, uh, 2020. And no, I'm not making no memes or jokes on 420. Uh, just a few heads up, I've actually been off work a little bit because my Crohn's been pretty bad and have uh, pretty bad ulcers. Uh, so right now I'm in the healing process uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic that's happening right now. Uh, so I figured since I'm home a lot now, I might as well just make a video of me cooking another recipe. Uh, today actually I've been making roba vieja, which is shredded beef uh, with white rice and black beans. I'm going to show you the white rice and black beans because that's different and that's separate and that's pretty simple. Just the part of the vieja. Now mine, I make mine in a crock pot. And so just to give you guys a heads up, this will be a pretty short video, but no subtitles. No, uh, I'll put timestamps in the description below when I start uh, cooking or start the uh, recipe itself. And I uh, just hope you guys enjoy. And of course, I'll be just enjoying everybody else in the world that's doing the same thing now. And they're all doing cooking videos and whatnot online. But I figured I'd just uh, contribute as well to make my own style on Roba Vieja. All right, let's get started. All right, folks, today I've been making ropa vieja, which is uh, ground uh, shredded beef. It's actually a Cuban dish. Uh, I'm not Cuban, but I'm Puerto Rican, so I'm pretty close to like. Uh, so I'm gonna make it actually my own style. Preferably, you prefer to use a flank steak. Uh, this is actually beef chuck roast, because uh, this is COVID-19, so we're currently just limited on what kind of meats you can get. This is close enough to a flank steak that I can get currently. Uh, preferably, you know, two pounds is the best. Uh, this is a 1.8 pounds, so it's close enough. And like I said, flank steak's the best. Today I'll be cooking it in a crock pot. Uh, so you're mixing everything in there. It's going to take a five hour cooking time. On uh, I think it's a 21 quart crock pot. Um, actually, five less. I forgot, I forgot how many quarts the crock pot is. But uh, we'll see. So um, I don't have actually all the ingredients I need. I'm actually missing two. But currently I can't go to the store and get some more stuff, especially during my sickness right now. Let's get started. First of all, you want to take your flank steak, or just in this case, chuck roast, and just poke holes in it. You don't have to if you don't want to. It actually you've got to be a little juicier without the holes. The holes is just to actually add in flavor inside the beef itself. When you're actually spicing it up and having all the juices inside of there. Again, this video won't have any subtitles. Uh, I'll put in the description below uh, the ingredients I've used and the timing uh, with the crock pot. And also try to get the, and this is all gonna get low heat, not, not high heat, low heat. And I'll actually put it on there as well how long I've cooked the meat for. Okay. All right, so I got the flank steak all stabbed up, nice and beautiful. In there. Use the other side now. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients and vegetables that I've used. So what you want to do is you want to grab tomato sauce right here, and or tomato paste, preferably six ounce tomato paste. If you don't have it, use tomato sauce eight ounces, and just pour it all in there right inside top of the beef. Let's put this on here so you can get a better picture. Yeah, that's probably the best right there. Alright. And I already diced up the ingredients. So right now I have in here some onions, green bell pepper, and red bell pepper. And I should add that a little later. First, let me spice it up. So I got my spices already mixed up in here. That's from cilantro, fresh cilantro diced up and cut up. The spices I'm using is adobo, and that contains salt and pepper, and also other seasonings. Pretty good, a lot. Regular salt and pepper is fine. You can also use ground cumin, uh, oregano leaves, 
I actually have fresh garlic, but I'm also adding a little bit of garlic powder because I love the garlic taste. Uh, sea salt, but not too much because the double already has uh, uh, some salt in it. But if you're not using a double, then use uh, a little bit more sea salt. Each of them is about half a teaspoon of each. Uh, actually, garlic powder is a teaspoon, cumin, half a teaspoon, regular half a teaspoon, sea salt, uh, I'm sorry, tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of cumin, ground cumin, half a tablespoon of regular leaves, and a teaspoon of salt, and half a tablespoon of adobo. And we got one packet of Sazon Goya. Again, you don't have to use it if you don't want, but actually you want to add a little more flavoring, just use one packet. Alright, I said I have all my seasonings already mixed up in here. Right, just spread that sucker in there. Make sure to flip that beef over so you can get the other side and season that part as well. Oh yeah, I, I didn't think I'd have enough, but this is plenty of seasoning for the whole thing. Again, this is two pounds recommended. Uh, this is actually this is actually one point eight pounds truck roast. I just flipped it over again to have a little extra seasoning I want to get on there. Yeah, there we go. And I'm already starving looking at this thing. So what I'll do is add a teaspoon of garlic. Fresh garlic is best. This is actually minced garlic, chopped up already. There's that one teaspoon of that. I'm gonna add all my onions and garlic, red peppers and green bell peppers on there, as you can see. I should have done my other hand. Oh yeah, this thing's about to be pretty. That's about half a green pepper, half red pepper, and uh, half an onion, white onion. Big use. Maybe red onion too, but I prefer white onion. Alright. So I'm gonna add also a few olives. These are already sliced. Pit olives. Salad olives. It's all the same. But whole olives is not best. I just best cut them up if I have them cut. Two teaspoons is enough. Yeah, get that flavor in there. Alright, we're gonna add some oil. Some this is extra virgin olive oil. You use cook, cookie vegetable oil as well. But I like extra virgin olive oil. Just about not too much. It's gonna be about mm, tablespoon, two tablespoons worth. Just enough to coat a little bit of the beef over it. I'm gonna add some Kikoman soy sauce. I actually learned this recently to use this. 
Not too much. Right, just about a tablespoon. And we're gonna add some limes, but I'm not cutting fresh limes. I have a few, so but I have a bottle of fresh lime juice right there. So just a bit, not too much. Spread it around. Be just about a mm, teaspoon, a little over a little bit of a teaspoon amount. All right. Last thing I want to do is add bay leaves. Now the bay leaves are really not for eating. That's just it add texture and flavor. Now at the end of the recipe, I she had to take out the bay leaves. When you had nails to open this, this thing. There it is. Probably about two or three bay leaves. Let's put them on the sides away. Just a little bit, not too much. I'm put three only. Yeah, it's good. Just go for it. You want to take that out near the end. You don't want to eat bay leaves. All right. So it's all mixed in together. It's all set, ready to go. Cover that baby up. Put it in a crock pot. And again, I'll put this in the crock pot for about four and a half hours, five hours. The longer the better. But if it looks like it's drying up, you can add a little bit of water. Uh, probably about maybe a quarter of a cup to have a cup of water. Um, unless you want to put, you can put an extra can of a tomato paste uh, or tomato sauce, but a little water is fine. Other than that, we are good to go. The last thing I'm going to add is cilantro, but that's not till the end. Like once it's done cooking, then let it sit there. I'm going to add the cilantro leaves at the very end. And at the very, uh, once I'm done with that, I'm going to show you the results of my video. All right, thanks for watching. All right, the moment of truth has arrived, people. So here's the ropa vieja after five hours. Got my white rice cooking over here, boiling. Keep an eye on that sucker. Black beans too on the side. Sorry for the darkness. So there's the ropa vieja. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all the bay leaves. I took three of them out already. So just got one more to go. Salsa sucker out. What you'll do now is you want to shred the beef. I'm gonna need two hands for this, but I'll show you the results right after I'm done serving it. All right, folks, here's the results from my ropa vieja. So I got a very hot plate. I got warming up. There it is. You can actually take a fork, and if it shreds easy, the fork. And you're good to go. I just want to use an extra 30 minutes. It's not that soft, but we're hungry, so I gotta eat. So, thank you all for watching. See ya.